I don't know about you, everybody, but I've been getting those bull market vibes. I, the, the winds are changing. The winds are shifting. The clouds are moving. I've been getting that vibe, that bull market vibe. That's not to say we're in a bull market. I don't think we are. The charts haven't confirmed that just yet, but I want to break down the charts right now. We have been getting really nice moves across crypto. This is a Bitcoin chart. I'm going to look at the Bitcoin chart. There's some friction on the Bitcoin chart as well as the XRP chart as well as the ADA chart. I want to talk about what I'm anticipating and how I'm seeing these things play out in the shorter term because right now we do see charts going up. I want to evaluate what that friction is. What, what is the challenge for these cryptos, for the crypto market right now? And can these cryptos shatter through that challenge? Hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's do this. We're going to start with Bitcoin very briefly. This is going to kind of apply and, and, and allow us to see more of a macro uh, story unfolding here. Then we're going to pivot to XRP, this crazy breakout and play for XRP, and then ADA. So here's Bitcoin. This is what is most crazy to me. We did it, everybody. This rising wedge, I don't know if you've been watching my analysis for, for months. We broke to the downside, and right now in play is this busted rising wedge. I just want to point right out. forty-seven to $48,000 target to the upside. That's, that's the target. That's in play. I mentioned resistance, this friction. I want to discuss that in this video. But the reason why that target is so key right now, and there's many different things that could trigger that target actually being hit. The reason why it's key is if you look at the previous cycle, the bull market high of 17 to the bear market low 18, Bitcoin pr prior to the next halving, the 2020 halving, made its way to a lower high Fibonacci, made its way there. If you look at this, this time around, the bull market high to the bear market low, if Bitcoin is to make that breakout that we just discussed to that target of $47,000, $48,000, we're very close. We're right at this lower end of the Fibonacci range, the lower high range. It would be incredible if Bitcoin can make that move. But again, we have the, the current friction. And here's where I'm evaluating this chart. And this really helps apply What's going to happen in terms of this, this bullish momentum to the upside for all of crypto, even if you don't hold Bitcoin? So you can see this rising wedge that we've been tracking. Bitcoin made its way back to the rising wedge trend lines. It, it's there right now. We also have this other trend line up uh, just kind of above that other, the white trend line. We have this yellow trend line. This is this area I'm looking for. If, if Bitcoin is to put in a higher high right now, it's a thirty-six to $37,000 area. The reason why I'm looking at this higher high potential, and it's actually already happening right now, if you look at this chart, the reason I'm looking at that is because we're, we're seeing a very similar setup uh, as to what we saw at the beginning of the year in January, when Bitcoin just cruised into overbought, a really nice move, the markets love it, everybody gets bullish. I'm sure people were talking about the start of the bull market then as well, but gets overbought and then actually starts trending down in terms of the momentum. So lower highs of momentum, and then here's a higher high on price, and then we get a really big price drop, right? So the momentum kind of acting as just this leading indicator to show us momentum's fading, be careful. That's the friction that we might be running into right now. You can see Bitcoin's putting in a higher high right now on the price chart in between these white trend lines and this upper yellow trend line. But while this is happening right now, Bitcoin is all right now, this could change if we get that really crazy pop of momentum, Bitcoin's putting in a lower high so far, right? So if Bitcoin keeps going higher and this does not break the previous high, but we're putting in a lower high, we might start seeing Bitcoin fizzle out a little bit. And that's just on the short to midterm. That would be called retracement. This happens in bull markets. I just want to say that. But Bitcoin is very historically overbought right now. If you zoom out on the chart, this type of thing doesn't happen all the time. The last time it happened, as we noted, was January. And then before that actually was in the last bull market. So it's been years besides this last time in January that it's been this overbought. We have to prepare for big drops. This is what crypto does. And for Bitcoin, it could happen at this friction area of resistance. We have, uh, if, if say it's now, say we go a little bit higher, 36, 37, everybody's getting really bullish. Then we get this big drop. What I'd be anticipating is this, it's kind of becoming a confluent area of support at the $30,000 region, mental area of 30,000. But we have the 20-day moving average around 31,000, just above 31. And we have these other moving averages cruising up with it, right? The 50-day, the 200-day, right around that $28,000 region. And if we go to the weekly chart, 
that just whole area is just so key for Bitcoin right now because these are the big weekly moving averages we want to see support at if Bitcoin does fall. The 20-week moving average especially right around 29,000. So Bitcoin might might keep going. I, I want to track that. We know the target to the upside. I'll, I'll do a video more about that bullish move if Bitcoin's able to break this resistance area. But I do want to anticipate just consolidation. I want to just keep my head in the game in terms of being realistic what crypto is going to do. Let's pivot to, to XRP. So XRP at an interesting area as well, because if we look at this XRP chart, and the XRP chart is so intriguing to me, because if you just look and glance at the weekly chart, check out XRP in terms of the, the all-time high. And this was 2017, 2018 area, all-time high. The last Bitcoin or Bitcoin, the last crypto bull market, XRP, because the situation it was in with SEC did not enjoy just that parabolic rise to new all-time highs. So I'm very much enjoying tracking the these this area, uh, this breakout trend story, the path, whatever, to breaking the all-time high for, for XRP. It's only around 300, 400% away. And right now, that setup, as we shift to a new cycle for XRP, will occur on these on these midterm setups, these zoomed out setups. This is a weekly. This this setup of consolidation that you see is couple different views of it. This is the weekly, and here's what it looks like on the daily. On the daily, it kind of allow, allows more for, I guess we could call it a uh, ascending triangle, right? So upper trend line is, is kind of flat. On the weekly, it's kind of trending up a little bit, right? So either way, these triangles, we can call it a rising wedge in this one, I guess we, I guess we could call it. But either way, the breakout target is around the same, and we're looking for a breakout target of above a dollar, Imagine XRP getting above a dollar once again. XRP on the daily actually breaking this upper trend line on the weekly, the upper trend line on the weekly current resistance. So it's going to be very interesting to see if XRP can close this weekly candle above this upper trend line. It's right around 61 cents. And right now on the daily, you can see XRP already breaking that. So if cryptos retrace, there's a clear higher low trend for XRP that I'll be, I'll be considering and watching besides just a retracement to the upper trend line around 57 cents here on the XRP uh, ascending triangle. I'd be looking at this lower trend line, 50 cents. So yeah, a 10 cent drop for XRP is in play if there's going to be a retracement consolidation for cryptos. 20% to the downside is in play for XRP. I want to see cryptos continue to go higher, but I'm considering the, the overbought environment that they are in right now, I'm considering consolidation. It doesn't have to be even 20% moves of consolidation. It could just be sideways, right? Before trending higher to the target, a dollar fifteen ish for XRP. That's a target that I'm watching. It's just so in play, considering everything that's going on. I believe this was the XRP win. You see all those gains being given up, given up after the XRP versus SEC win, given up. And that's I think just because this is a cycle timing issue. This isn't a uh, hey. When are these cryptos going to get this great news issue? I think it's a, a cycle timing issue. The closer we get to Bitcoin having, I think the leash will come off of these cryptos. Let's pivot over to ADA and see what's going on on the ADA chart. So this is ADA, obviously, uh, a little bit different of a picture, XRP. You know, it had its nice all-time high in the last cycle. And if, if we're considering how far away it is from that all-time high, 800 to 900%. I have, I have complete conviction that that's going to happen that's going to be broken in this next cycle i could be wrong i think aid is going to be putting in very powerful new all-time highs as value comes on chain in this next cycle but that's what we're looking at in terms of how far away it is now we know the setup and i'm actually going to in terms of ada i'm going to be digging into the hourly chart because i'm really curious on the short term if ada can manage to make to see a breakout and go a little bit higher in this move even if it's going to consolidate can it go higher first but this is uh, ADA on the, the weekly zoomed out, the target to around 40 to 45 cents. Let's just call it same thing over here on the daily chart. You see a picture of that falling wedge. ADA right now, actually, as I do this video, breaking above this 200-day moving average. It's a brand new daily candle. I don't know how this daily candle is going to close, but right now it's actually looking pretty strong to go higher. Can ADA see a breakout? Kind of similar to Solana and the breakout we saw for Solana. We did a video on that yesterday how these altcoins take turns. Can ADA take its turn and make a breakout? 
If it does, what does that look like on the short term? Well, and then we're actually going to talk about if it fails. We are going to talk about that on, the, on this short term chart as well. But this is a post from October 25th. You can just see how long these things take take to play out. Next stop for Cardano, 31 cents. It was 28 to 29 cents at the time. And if we look at the setup, let's let's actually watch. This was kind of the setup I was tracking, kind of an ascending triangle for ADA. It was just breaking out of the upside. It actually continued to the upside. It didn't hit 31 cents. We could say, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It hit its target. I really am evaluating that 31 cent target though, especially because if you look at this right now, we have this new trend line forming that ADA is testing right now and it is just below 31 cents. The 31 cent area is such a key target area of resistance of what we could call friction for ADA right now. And ADA is there testing just below it. I mean, it is just below it. I posted this, I don't have the post up, but I posted this just a bit ago, which was this, this new rising wedge that ADA kind of fell to the downside. Target to the downside would be 27 cents or so, 27, 28, but kind of pulled back into the wedge and now is at this upper trend line. Target to the upside, right around 33 cents. So this is why I'm curious to see if ADA can get that, that, that burst of momentum, that breakout of momentum, and let me explain why that's important in just a minute. But if we go to the daily chart, if we look at what this breakout could be for ADA on the daily chart to 33 cents, if it were to happen, it's ADA moving to this area on the daily. Remember, we still have this target, a, a way bigger target on the zoomed out. That is to say, out of this falling wedge. But if ADA is able to get to this target, it allows more retracement for, for ADA to the downside whether it's just to the 200-day moving average, whether it's to pull into the 20 and the 50-day moving averages, it allows more separation from all of this area right now. It allows more for more room for ADA to consolidate to the downside before potentially going higher to the 40-some cent target. And why is that important on the daily? It's important on the daily because check out what, what ADA is doing. It's doing kind of the same thing Bitcoin is potentially doing. The momentum could be fizzling and ADA didn't make a crazy, crazy powerful move for the momentum to even be fizzling yet, but it could be fizzling in a similar, similar way from Bitcoin and Cardano in January, where we say ADA is breaking out, it's putting in higher highs, higher lows, and then it fizzles, right? The momentum is putting in lower highs and what happens? It retraces and it retraces big, right? So before that happens, if ADA is going to slow down momentum and we start putting in lower highs, before it happens, we want to see how high ADA can go to get the separation so it can just retrace to the downside in a healthy way. People don't realize that targets, especially when we look at targets like this pattern setting up since March, these targets take a while if they're going to hit to hit. And, and we're talking about a lot of volatility, breakouts to the upside, Fake outs, we're breaking all the way back down, testing key areas, key trend lines. The, the sentiment starts kind of negative sentiment, that is, starts coming into play. And then all of a sudden there's support. And then we continue to the target to the upside. And boom, we're, we're about to, you know, enter the Bitcoin halving, right? So these things take a while to track. For me, it's all about anticipating these moves so that I'm, I'm prepared for them. But very much so on the zoomed in, I'm curious to see what ADA can do tonight. But just note, there's resistance, everybody. There, this is not a guaranteed breakout for ADA. It could see resistance and it could make us wait longer. It's what ADA does. We talk about that a lot. ADA just makes us wait a little bit longer. Uh, either way, I'm curious to just see how this bigger picture st uh, plays out and how the ADA BTC chart plays out, uh, especially at this lower vicinity of this lower trend line on this long-term macro as we are kind of just hovering in this very similar area pre-having as we were at this time last cycle. I think ADA is getting ready to do something very special. We still might have a little bit of time. This is actually a monthly ADA BTC. We still might have a little bit of time. ADA might wake, make us wait a little bit more, but these are all the things I'm tracking for these cryptos. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, everybody. I appreciate you. Subscribe, turn the notifications on. We're getting ready for the bull, everybody. I'm excited. Content creation, a little bit more exciting lately. It really has been. So uh, join the journey, everybody. I appreciate just hanging out with y'all. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.